This man's name is John. For a long time, he was seen as a loser just because he looked lame and couldn't do anything. But since he married Alice, he was called the luckiest loser in the world because he was able to marry an amazing woman like Alice. Alice herself was a popular girl back when she was still in high school. Not only she was beautiful, she was also a smart girl, but unfortunately, since graduating from college, she had not yet found a job even though she had applied for many. Amid her confusion while looking for a job, the landlord and her friend, Arnie, suddenly came to collect the rent money. Initially, she wanted to use the rent money to buy food, but because Arnie came to collect it, she had to pay for it. It seemed that Alice and John's financial condition was at the lowest point and they only had $45 in their bank account. To save on expenses that night to get something to eat, they were forced to go to a school friend's party who used to bully John named Peyton, who despite being slow at things, could get a six-figure salary thanks to her rich parents. She was married to a very rich businessman named Ricky. Even though Alice and John were ignored at the party, he didn't feel annoyed at all because there were still their other friends named Louise and Chuck, who were now officially married. They were also experiencing an economic crisis, even so, they were still happy to enjoy the party because they could eat and drink as much as they wanted for free. The next morning, Alice and John woke up very drunk, so to get rid of their hangover, they immediately went to buy some food. In the middle of the journey, the two were busy chatting when suddenly their car was hit by a truck. When John was asking for compensation from the truck driver, Alice accidentally saw a nice teapot in an antique shop. She quickly entered the shop and then acted like a buyer who was looking at the antiques there. Not long after, John followed there. She took him around looking for antiques that they could take to the antique auction which would be broadcast live on TV, and when the seller was not looking, Alice immediately took the teapot and asked John to run away from there. Witnessing what his wife had just done made John surprised. Even though they were poor, she shouldn't have been so reckless as to become a thief. Instead of feeling guilty, Alice didn't care at all that even when she was asleep, she didn't want to stay away from the teapot she stole. The next day, when Alice was seriously looking for a job, she accidentally burned her forehead with the hair straightener and suddenly, her teapot gave out money. At first, Alice didn't believe it, but when she hurt herself again, the teapot started to give out money again. From the incident just now, Alice concluded that she had to hurt herself for the teapot to give more money. The more it hurts, the more money she would get. On the other hand, John was involved in a serious conversation with his boss. Considering that John's work performance was not improving and the company was trying to reduce its employees, his boss was forced to fire him. John could only accept the decision with a heavy heart. He then went home feeling completely confused, but when he saw his house messed up, he immediately panicked. He then rushed to look for his wife and how shocked he was when he found that his wife's face was battered, but instead of whining in pain, she looked very happy to know that his wife was okay. John was immediately relieved and then told her that he had just been fired. Alice cheered him up and then showed him what the teapot could do. Alice continued to convince John even though they were both unemployed, they could still make money from the teapot if they hurt themselves. Of course, John immediately rejected and opposed it. For him, nothing was instant in this world and even if there were, it would definitely be risky and could one day endanger them. The next day, without Alice's knowledge, John intended to return the teapot to its original location. However, unfortunately, the antique shop had closed. Every time he saw the teapot, his heart beat fast. He then quickly went to the antique auction event. There, he admitted that he had bought the teapot from an old lady. When the presenter heard that, he immediately told John that the teapot was 99% made of 24 karat gold. Most likely, the teapot came from the Middle East or perhaps from China considering that he had seen it from the early dynasty, and for the teapot, the presenter gave an initial bid price of $50,000, but in the last seconds, John changed his mind and gave up his intention of auctioning off his teapot. Upon returning from the auction, John asked Alice to promise that they would stop using the teapot when they managed to collect $1 million. After Alice agreed, they immediately hurt themselves and all the money they collected was then put in the bathroom. Currently, the money that had been collected was $194,000. They deliberately didn't save in the bank to avoid the suspicion. A few days later, John was invited to lunch at Alice's parents' house. John had been avoiding going there because his brother-in-law kept asking when they would have a child. When asked about his current job, John casually said that he was trying to enter the world of investment. Alice's mother, who heard that, was immediately shocked, knowing it was risky, and they could lose a lot of money, but John just laughed it off. Afraid that her mother might get worried, Alice hurriedly clarified that it was just a joke and asked his mother to believe that they were fine. When they returned to their house, John and Alice immediately started making out, but suddenly, they heard a knock on the door. John then immediately opened the door while Alice hurriedly hid the teapot. They were visited by the grandsons of the original owner of the teapot who apparently had died. They were Yol and Gilad who without further ado continued to beat John very brutally 
and wouldn't stop until Alice handed over the teapot. Before the old lady died, she told Yol and Gilla that the teapot was lost and when they saw the auction on the TV, they found out that the teapot was in John's hands. Alice didn't want John to get hurt any worse so she lied that the teapot had been sold and handed over a small part of their money to Yol and Gilad. Because of what just happened, John and Alice immediately went to the library to look for a book about the origin of the teapot, and based on the book that Alice read, it turned out that the teapot had extraordinary magical powers that couldn't be explained. When Alice found out that the consequence of using the teapot was their lives, she quickly tore off that part of the book and put it in her bag. She then invited John to start a new life by living as a rich family. After successfully buying a luxurious house, John and Alice held an open house at their new house. During the party, an antique item researcher from China arrived. He is Dr. Ling and the purpose of his visit was to ask John and Alice to hand over the antique teapot to him. Of course, they lied that they had donated the teapot to a museum, but Dr. Ling knew that it was just a lie. He then warned them that they were in great danger if the teapot was not immediately given to him. Hearing this, Alice immediately kicked him out. Since they were rich, Alice felt that she was on the same level as Peyton. She didn't even hesitate to treat Ricky and Peyton to dinner at a luxury restaurant. Since then, Alice and Peyton often spent time together, and when they met Louise, Alice seemed to ignore her even though Louise was her loyal friend. They acted like a complete stranger. That night, Alice was chatting with John when suddenly, Arnie appeared and snatched the teapot from Alice's hand. He was jealous to death, seeing them looking so happy and living richly. He tried to crush the teapot with his truck, but miraculously, the teapot was still intact and not scratched at all. Because of this incident, they immediately went to see Dr. Ling to find out everything about the antique teapot. The teapot had been around since 2,000 years ago and often passed on by several of the best people and the evilest in history. And if there was even the slightest evil intention or feeling of hatred within the owner of the teapot, it would bring disaster to its owner. Dr. Ling also told them that he was the only person who destroyed the teapot. Even though the teapot was indestructible, he could hide it so that no one could find it anymore. Hearing that, Alice still didn't budge and didn't want to hand over the teapot to Dr. Ling. She still thought that he was just a fraud who wanted to be rich like them. When John and Alice were about to fall asleep, they heard sounds coming from outside the room and how shocked they were when they saw Yol and Jilad had stolen their money which was stored in the bathroom and without thinking twice. Alice told John to catch them but because she knew her husband was too scared to fight, Alice finally intervened. Yol and Jilad succeeded in taking away all the money. Alice cried uncontrollably, remembering that she had to collect it again from scratch. She had no money at all, she couldn't even hire someone to cut the grass in their yard. Unfortunately, the teapot didn't want to give as much money as before even though they had been torturing themselves all day. They didn't want to be like that, so John took the initiative to sacrifice himself to get beaten by thugs in a bar. John failed to bring in that much money and his eye was badly injured and becomes the subject of Ricky's teasing. The next day, when Alice was sitting in the park, her teapot suddenly gave a lot of money when someone else fell off his skateboard near her. She suddenly rushed to tell John that the teapot would give a lot of money when someone around was in pain too. They then started to hunt down people who were in pain. Alice wasn't satisfied enough with the money she had collected to the point that she was almost reckless enough to hit a homeless. John couldn't let his wife do such a reckless action and scolded her because he didn't want her money obsession to blind her heart. Instead of listening to John, she instead blamed him for never being able to solve their problem at all. Then she bombarded John with harsh words and to her surprise, the teapot began giving out a lot of money. She then took advantage of the moment to admit that she was too good for a loser like John. Alice's words just now hurt John's feelings so much and the teapot gave even more money. After that, Alice asked John to hurt her feelings too, but John refused because he didn't want to hurt the feelings of the person he loved, but because Alice kept insisting, he finally did it. He honestly confessed that he once accidentally kissed Peyton, and he kept thinking about it. Alice was shocked when she heard that, but she didn't mind because she finally found a new way to collect her money back quickly. Since then, John and Alice started a war of hurting each other's souls. Alice told John that she had been sleeping with Arnie before getting to know John and made him jealous. Without thinking twice while carrying a saw, John quickly went to Arnie's house and then told Arnie's wife that her husband had slept with his wife. Arnie came out and attacked John, but then he saw the teapot giving out money and asked about it, but John and Alice refused to say anything and left instead. The next day, Alice realized that since she had hurt John's feelings, she felt she had become an honest person and along with that, she could get a lot of money, so she thought about exposing the secrets of the people around her. She and John started by telling Ricky that his beloved dog had died because of Peyton's carelessness, who had left it in a hot car for a long time. John told his ex-boss's wife that her husband was having an affair with his employee and the last one, 
They told Alice's brother-in-law that her sister had made him responsible for her pregnancy even though it was not his child, but when Alice was just about to expose it, she told her sister that she was jealous of their harmonious family. Instead of ending everything, Alice became even more obsessed. She even had a plan to eliminate the life of the pedophile and drug dealer who often wandered around the par, saying she was doing that to save the people around. John, who heard that, immediately opposed her plan. He couldn't recognize his wife anymore, who was once a kind-hearted woman. At that very moment, John gave up on her, who was increasingly out of control. He couldn't justify her plan at all. John then asked Dr. Ling for help to stop Alice, but unfortunately, Dr. Ling could do nothing or snatch the teapot from Alice's hands because she had to give it to him and only then that the power of the teapot would disappear. Based on his experience so far, no matter how kind someone is, the more they could get, the more they became evil. Because after all, they would never feel enough of what they had gotten. Knowing there was no other way to save Alice while holding the teapot, John intended to throw himself from the window if she persisted in carrying out her plan. When Alice heard that, she promised not to carry out her plan while glancing at the teapot. This then made John realize that she wasn't serious about what she said and decided to jump out of the window. That was when Alice made up her mind to give the teapot to Dr. Ling. Unfortunately, before they could return the teapot, Arnie showed up at their house and stole the teapot. At first, John and Alice wanted to let him go, but because they didn't want him to fall into greed, they immediately rushed to his house, where they saw the house was in a mess. Not long after that, Arnie appeared with a gun, and when he was about to shoot, Yol and Gilad suddenly appeared while pointing their gun. Since they had held the teapot, they became obsessed with the teapot too. Shortly after the chaos ended, John and Alice immediately took the teapot and all the money that was scattered. Alice then handed the teapot over to Dr. Ling. Dr. Ling thanked Alice for her big heart to return the teapot because of the many people who owned it before, no one wanted to listen to him. The next day, Alice gave all the money to Louise who really needed the money at that moment. Months later, Alice was pregnant. She and John decided to go to Mexico to start a new life, while in the other place, Dr. Ling was seen about to throw the antique teapot into the ocean.